Hello everyone, so in this video we will be discussing the last topic for depreciation which is the Modified Accelerated Cost Recovery System or sometimes called as MACRS or MACRS. So according to Investopedia, MACRS depreciation allows the capitalized cost of an asset to be recovered over a specified peri period via annual deductions. So now we, we will be discussing how can we compute or how can we get um, the MACRS or how can we compute the depreciation using the MACRS method. So um, we have here the, the formula for the MACRS. An assumption is made that this MACRS is a shift from straight line method to DDM or double declining method. So we have here the formula for D1 or the depreciation at year one that is equivalent to one half multiplied by two over N times FC minus zero where N here is the total number of years and the FC is the first cost. We also have the depreciation at year two that is equivalent to two over N times FC minus D1 or the depreciation at year one. And we also have the depreciation at, at, at year three that is equivalent to two over N times FC minus D1 minus D2. So that basically means that when you also need to, to search or to calculate for the formula or for the depreciation at the following years or at the, uh, at the fourth year to fifth year or on nth year, then you just have to um, follow the follow the sequence of this one. So you just have to subtract um, D3 here if you are looking for D4. And then if you are looking for D5, then you just have to subtract D4 here and so on and so forth. So that is how we get the depreciation using MACRS. So now we'll have some example. We have here the cost of equipment is 500000 and the cost of installation, labor, taxes, and miscellaneous expenses is 30,000 pesos. If the salvage value is 10% of the cost of equipment at the end of its life of 5 years, compute the book value at the end of 3rd year using MACRS method. So again, we have here our FC is equivalent to 500K. Our... Um, installation, labor, taxes, and miscellaneous expenses costing to 30,000. So meaning to say this is, this has an additional of 30K and that gives our first cost as equivalent to 530K or 530,000 pesos. Now, if the salvage value is 10% of the cost of equipment, so meaning to say 10% of 500,000 pesos, then our SV or salvage value is 50,000 pesos. And then we need to compute, uh, we have the life, uh, end of its life of five years. So I mean, we say our N is equivalent to five. Now, again, we need to find the book value at the end of third year. So I mean, we say we are looking for the BVM at M is equivalent to three. So now we can compute this one. Uh, our We are also looking for the depreciation at year three, since a BVM is equivalent to FC minus DM, where M is three. Now, in order for us to get the value of our D3 or DM, we just have to find the value of our D1 plus the value of our D2 plus the value of our D3. Now, let's try to solve each of these first so that we can find the value of our D3 or the total depreciation at year three so that we can find the book value at year three. So D1 is said to be equivalent to one half, one half times two N multiplied by FC minus zero. So we have one half times two and our N is five multiplied by our FC, which is 530K minus zero. So this is now, so this is now equivalent to 106,000 pesos. Next is we need to find the value of our D2. So D2 is just equivalent to 2 over N 
multiplied by our FC minus T1. So our N again is 5. Our FC is 530K minus 106K from our D1. So we have our D2 as equivalent to 169,000. 600 pesos. Now, we also need to find the value of our D3. So, we have D3 is equivalent to 2 over N multiplied by FC minus T1 minus D2. So, simply just substitute the values. So, we have 2 over 5 multiplied by 530,000 minus our D1 which is 106K minus our 169,600 and that is equivalent to 101,760. So we can already solve for our D3 from that. So we just have to add the D1, D2, and D3, this one. And that is equivalent now to 377,360. So from that, we can already solve for our BVM. So our BVM now is equivalent to 530,000 or 30K minus our D3 or our total depreciation at year 3. So we have 377,360. So now our book value at at the end of third year is equivalent to 152,640 pesos. So this is now our book value. Another example we have here a certain machine cost 400,000 pesos and has a life of five years and a salvage value of 50,000 at the end of its expected life. So meaning to say this is our SV, this is our FC, and our N is 5. Compute the depreciation in a third year using modified accelerated cost. So we are looking for D3. But in order for us to get the D3, we need to find first what is our D1 and our D2. So solving for D1, we have 1 half multiplied by 2 over N times FC minus 0. So that is equivalent to 1 half times 2 over 5 times our FC, which is 400K, minus 0. So that is equivalent now to 80,000 pesos. And solving for D2, we have 2 over N multiplied by FC minus D1. So we have 2 over 5 multiplied by FC, which is 400K, minus T1, which is 80K. So that is just simply equivalent to 128,000 pesos or 128K. Now for D3, so that we can find the D3, our D3 is 2 over N, multiplied by FC, minus T1, minus D2. So, substituting the values, we have 2 over 5 multiplied by our 400K minus T1, which is 80K minus T2, which is 128K. So, meaning to say our D3 now is equivalent to 76,800 Pesos. So this is now our final answer or our D3. So I hope you learned something from this video and that's it for the depreciation. Thank you so much and I hope you don't forget to like and subscribe the video. Thank you.